what is up guys? I hope you're enjoying the video thus far. All these clips that you've been seeing are kind of uh, just sporadically thrown together. Um, they're all from over the course of the last month or so. Our players have actually been home for the last three weeks and they actually come back in about a week or so. Our rookies are going to come back this weekend, which we're really excited about. So they're actually moving in tomorrow and then the rest of the squad will be back the week after. So you're seeing some of our summer workouts here. This is the, uh, I'd say one of the favorite drills of the team that we kind of just came up with as a staff, me, Brian, and Wex in the office one day, uh, just thinking of, you know, what kind of new competitive drill can we put into practice just to switch things up a little bit, still get the one-on-one -on -one element, but then also to get a one-on-one -on -one to a two-on-two, three-on-three, and then you win with a four-on-four. -four. So, so essentially you win the drill by scoring. So you're going to see here, we're already at the two-on-two -two point. So that means that somebody scored already in the one-on-one. -on -one. So now we're on a two-on-two. -two. If they get a bucket here, the drill would go to three-on-three. -three. If they scored three-on-three, -three, yep, she just scored. So now watch, everyone's going to run on a little bit of chaos. You got to match up. You got to talk. The ball can be checked as fast as you can. If you're sleeping, if the defense isn't paying attention, you're going to give the offense a wide open layup and then an advantage. So obviously here we go. This is three on three. If they were to score, oh, she turned it over. Turnover changes possession. Now they flip offense, defense flips, and now it starts back at the one-on-one -on -one with a team that was on defense now on offense. So again, if they had scored there though, it would have went to four on four. And then if they had scored in the four on four, game would have been over. So once a team scores, Four on four, end of game. Possession changes on a turnover or three stops. So again, that's what I was talking about. Nobody came out to guard me and, uh, you know, got a free bucket there because they weren't paying attention. So it does really force teams to communicate. You got to match up. It's not going to be an ideal matchup. And you're going to see here, here's the big one. Now we're in a four on four. We've scored three consecutive times. If we score here, we win. Haley, go under the screen. Bingo, hits it game winner. So again, if they would have stopped us in the four on four, right? One stop in the four on four, then we would have been one stop. If they stopped us again, that would have been two stops. If they got a rebound again, it would have been three stops and then it would have flipped and then they would have had to go back to the one on one. So again, you got to either get to the four on four and score possession changes on a turnover or three stops. And there's, we didn't put time on the drill. You could put time on it, but uh, yeah, we just went to four on four. And again, if you had more players, you could play it five on five. If you had less players, you could play it to three on three. It's, uh, we call it war. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, it's been fun. It definitely gets physical. It gets crazy, but uh, it's a fun one. Still can't get over how good this locker room looks. So good. Good morning. It is Wednesday, June 9th. It's about 7 a.m. Headed to the gym right now. Gonna get a quick little leg workout in and then head to the office. Uh, we've had visits for the last couple days, um, even last week too. So it's gonna be nice to just uh, relax today, get some work done in the office, no practice, but catch up on a bunch of recruiting, catch up on uh, editing some of the practices we've had so we can show our players some film. Leg day. Complete. Played pickup yesterday morning. That was awesome. Literally had a full squad out there. Uh, five on five, went up and down. 7.30 in the morning, breakfast club on a pickup session. All right, back interrupting the video with another little workout segment. So this might have been from that weekend prior to the clip that you just saw. So this was an individual workout with our point guard, Rose Caverly. And these are our daily eights, or we call them our ochos. Uh, we've been doing these in practice, whether it's a team workout or an individual workout. I've been starting every single one like this, and it's literally just what it sounds like. We are just finishing right around the bucket. Daily work, brush your teeth work, stuff that you just need to work on in terms of touch and uh, keeping your eyes up, having multiple finishing moves, being able to finish with both hands around the bucket. Um, and you're literally just going to see her start with some hooks here. So she's finishing with the defender on her side. She's got to get that ball high off the glass. We'll usually throw some ball handling in there as well. You're going to see she's going to go to some two ball heavy pounds here. She'll go 10 low, 10 medium, 10 high, 
real quick just to get the arms burning and then I'll make her go back to another set of the sidearm hook finishes. This time I just wanted her to get a little bit wider outside the paint, more realistic of a finish, right? When someone's riding your hip as, as an offensive player, you're really not going to be able to get that close to the bucket or you'd be shooting a normal layup. So I wanted to really kind of force her to the edge of that lane line and really have to get her eyes locked on the glass and finish it up high over that little uh, pop-up stick that I use all the time just to make myself a little bit taller, more realistic, like a like an actual post player in the lane. So we jump around here. Sometimes we'll go, you know, we'll mix it up. I'll throw the ball handling in between. I'll do it afterwards. Um, that's the best part about the individual workouts is kind of you can, you can have fun and mix around the order that you do things in. Typically we do it in the end when it's a team workout. But again, you know, just kind of catering and, uh, you know, working towards Rose's weaknesses and strengths. So whatever I think she needs more of, whatever I think she needs less of. So the last part of it, we're going to hit some Euro steps. We'll go inside hand finish. We'll go outside hand finish, mix it up. And then again, always throwing that heavy ball, those two ball heavy pounds in between. So, you know, her arms are feeling like jello after she gets done with those and then has to head over to the finishes. But really enjoy the daily eight. Uh, just a nice way to warm a player up. They are, they're sweating by the end of it and, uh, you know, finishing around the basket. They're getting a ton of reps in, you know, eight minutes, essentially. All right, vlog. Rachel just got here and she's like, oh my God, you're vlogging today? I was like, yeah, it's been a, it's been a while. Say hi. Hi. So they haven't even seen the new setup or anything yet. So much has happened since we last spoke. So first of all, we moved offices. Uh, Coach Brennan, Wex, Wex, we miss you. Uh, she left, took another job. Her husband got a full-time you know, football gig down in Virginia, big time. So wishing her the best of luck there. So she moved. So I actually moved down the hall and I'm in a brand new office now. So obviously hallway door, boom, we come in. Still need to clean it up a little bit, but it's pretty much finished. Rachel, I was kind enough to share my office with Rachel and split our office here. So whiteboard up there. And then I also went all in and bought a big Joe chair, which is coming clutch in these first couple weeks. I'm not gonna lie. How do you like your desk? I love it. It's cute. I love it. Tiny, are you complaining? I'm not. Are you complaining right now? Very grateful. Very grateful, thank you. And then I have my uh, cork board. I'm gonna get my TV mounted up in this corner, like Coach Tom Bacor in there. That's gonna happen. Um, but yeah, cork board got all the decor and whatnot. Gonna get these framed there. And I'm currently just watching some films. So uh, heading out on the road, obviously, very soon in July. Going to Kentucky, run for the Roses, and then be in Atlantic City. So a lot of that. Film synergy. All right, we're about to introduce our two new staff members to the vlog. Jazz is gonna be overwhelmed right now, probably. Jazz, did you know that I had a YouTube channel? I did you? Talked off of Rachel. When did you tell her? Remember last week. Jasmine Fogel, everybody. Jazz, give a little intro. Your background, a little bio. Yeah, quick, quick course. one. Look at her behind this desk. First of all, <laughs> let's just take a minute. Let's take a minute. This looks better than me and Rachel were in here for a year. <laughs> She's been here for a week. <laughs> She's got the, yeah, got the sign. She's gonna get everything up. You're gonna get a little TV, right? Yeah, a little TV, a little TV mounted. mounted. But Jazz is getting getting shit done behind this I'm desk. Trying, trying. But sorry, Jazz, introduce yourself. Yeah, okay. So, of course, I'm Jazz in Fogel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Hey, local. Um, local. Little background. I'm the oldest of five. All mm. girls. All girls. All girls, yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Started basketball when I was five. Mm hmm. Um, Got to, you know, play throughout high school. Got a full scholarship at Franklin Pierce University. Franklin Pierce. Yep, suffered some injuries my senior year, then transferred to Post. Um, okay, okay. I, you know, made some history there. Nice. Um, you can look it up if you want. I don't yeah. know what I'm talking about. <laughs> After my injury, my first game at Post, I had 38 and 16. 38? 38, 16. Oh, shit. Okay, we're going to go find that thing. We're going to go, we're gonna go find that one. Wow, oh, this is awesome. She has a lot to say right now. Usually when I bring the camera, people are like, don't film me. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm used to this. I, I got my degree in mass communications, mm -hmm. um, media production. That's so. why I'm excited to learn from Jazz. Yep. Um, I, after post, um, I found out I 
from my ACL. So I figured it was time for me to pass my game and knowledge over to the next generation. So mm-hmm. I did two years at Iona College. I was a grad assistant there. I remember Jazz um, at Iona. I remember yeah. her. And Jen, Jen, she definitely kicked her butt. <laughs> <laughs> I got some buckets on her. <laughs> um, yeah, after I finished up there, I decided I wanted to go the route of high school, help the younger generation there. Mm-hmm. I had a great year at Putnam. Met some lovely, lovely, amazing um, girls that mm-hmm. I'm still in contact with now. And I'm excited to be here. Here she is. Now she's got the at the corner of the axe yes. shirt on. Let's go. Q-U. Yeah, we can't. We couldn't be more excited to obviously have Jazz and Kate, who you'll meet soon. We'll see if her intro is that good. I don't know. <laughs> Kate, you got a lot to live up to right now, but uh, excited to have them. We were uh, very short staffed last year. Crazy year. So excited for what we can do moving forward. Incoming camera. Three, two. One. Okay, welcome to the vlog. B Dubs, we've never been showing your office. Brian complains he's never on camera, so you're looking good today. So I figured. Thank you so much, Jen. <laughs> oh, new person and this guy who's been here. What are we working on right now? Getting flights booked. I'm tweeting. You're tweeting. On Kate's official. Kate on is official on the Twitter now. Kate, are you excited to be here I or am what? I'm so excited. To give a little background, how, what's the connection here? Wild, let huh? let the yeah, wow. let the community know the the real connection here. <laughs> the real connection is yes. this guy, um, most talkative recruit I think he's ever had in his life mm. on a visit. Without a doubt. Fair. Yeah, brought it in for a big hug right away. Okay. Dad loved him. All right. It's, you know. Nice. I knew, knew it was a thing right there. Con college days, right? And then where were you before this? I was at Mercer University. Nice. Down in Macon, Georgia. Mm-hmm. Living in the South. Now, welcome South back to the... Northeast. Nice. From originally? Originally from New Jersey, New yes. Providence. Yes. We are excited. Reaction. Excited to have Kate and Jazz and obviously Ryan here. Ryan. <laughs> Things like a healing for adults. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome back to the beautiful locker room. What does it smell like? I'm like ass. <laughs> so these have been our, uh, you know, little mock lockers just to kind of show off the gear for our visits. So you're seeing the hardens here, fresh kicks, some of the practice gear. Can't say I love that hoodie, but I do love that light blue. I like this one, down in Mitchell's. Um, yeah, you know, so just just some of the stuff. And now we're gonna fill up some of these rookies, uh, these rookies lockers here. We got empty one, empty one. Where should we put them, Rich? Where should we put the rooks? Mac DeWeese, what up? Special gear delivery. clean but when it comes to recruiting I've been using notability on the iPad so that one looks oh my god my notifications so that one looks like this so I can draw everything up you know and a midday can opening of three D's are, are energy drinks bad for you yes they're a drug they're, a dr- into drugs. they're really good they're really bad for you <laughs> What is up guys? Sunday morning, just got back from the gym a little while ago, showered, uh, freshened up, and now cutting some film, watching some film of WNBA games last night. Um, Arike Gumuwale put on a show against the Mystics. Uh, Tina Charles has just been on fire, but uh, nobody else really could help her out from the Mystics last night. So uh, Dallas Dallas is super athletic. Their, their entire team, not even just their guards, their entire team is super athletic, probably the most athletic team in the league, honestly, um, in terms of their like full roster and the amount of bigs that they're cycling in. They have Bella Allery, Charlie Collier, Satu Sabali, all of them going in uh, one by one and getting minutes. So that was a fun game to watch. I'm excited, though, because today I'm going to the Connecticut Sun and the Chicago Sky game at Mohegan Sun Arena, which is like an hour away from where I live. So this will be my first WNBA game in a long time. Honestly, uh, I went to one maybe two summers ago, but obviously last summer with COVID, no fans. So it's been a while since I've been to a game. And for all the film that I watch on my computer and on TV, uh, I think I just, you know, I, I need to get to a game in person. So currently actually looking at some 
flex option. So I saw a tweet the other day. Um, somebody tweeted it about the NBA and how like the flex offense is dead or whatever. And it's just funny because that's just how different the games are, I guess, even though they're not really different. Because the WNBA, I've clipped a flex type action, not necessarily, you know, the cross screen down, like in that perfect order, but like some sort of action that starts with that flex screen, that cross screen and ends in a down screen, right? I've clipped that from almost every single team in the WNBA just this season. So uh, it's funny to say that it's dead in the NBA, but I'm seeing it almost every single game, some sort of action, whether they use the cross screen or they're coming up off a little pin down instead, some sort of flex action is still very much alive in the WNBA. Here comes the flex. There's the cross screen. Here comes the Seattle Storm. Here she goes, Sue Bird, setting the flex screen for Stewart. Right off of it, jumper. So uh, the bigs and the, the bigs run the WNBA. So maybe that's the difference in the NBA. It's a guards game. Um, you know, you can't win without good guards in the WNBA. The bigs are controlling it. We were looking at the uh, the front runners for the MVP this season. I think four out of five were uh, were post players. So that's why maybe the flex is still so valuable because uh, those mismatches really do matter. We're at Mohegan, pulled up for the game. The last time I was here was senior week, senior senior uh, year of college celebration for the end of it. Uh, but yeah, we're here, game day. Blake and Rachel. One week till I head out on the road recruiting in July. But yeah, I will bring the camera around when I head on the planes, going to Kentucky, I'm going to Atlantic City, I'll be in Pennsylvania, Spooky Nook tournament at the end of July. So I think that'd be a pretty cool vlog, just kind of talking about my experiences and whatnot. On the road, I will not be bringing the camera into the gyms or anything. I'm not gonna be the, uh, the young coach who's never done this before in her life, kind of walking around with a camera and whatnot. So that I'm going to refrain from doing. Um, but uh, yeah, the behind the scenes stuff will uh, we'll definitely document for sure, because again, that's gonna be something cool and just meaningful to me, I think, down the line, so yeah. All right, to end the video right now, we just got all the gear back in that you saw from the beginning of the video, which was weeks ago, almost felt like months ago. We got Jazz here too, so it's, it's Christmas right now. This is one of the new, new designs. We got the drop shoulder, so this is mine for recruiting. That's the fit that I'm, I like to go with. We just got in the hoodie, so this is nice dry fit, you know, it can work out. Sweat wicking material. Cotton, for those who love cotton. Are you a fan of cotton, Jazz? I am a fan of cotton. All right. And the York Hill Blue. So this is the theme that we're trying to go with. We still need to get a jersey in this color. Like a, a full-on uniform in this color. That's that's definitely a goal. So we got the York Hill long sleeve. What else did we get here? There's another one um, for recruiting gear. So we got some more. Sorry, players, you didn't get this one yet. But uh, a nice gray style. We went with another navy. Nice t-shirt there. And then Rachel, we got her a special gift. For all the hard work she puts in, she got a crew neck. So, gear's looking pretty good, slowly coming in. We're making progress. So excited to get out on the road. Jazz is moving in our, our freshman this weekend yes, sir. with Coach, so that'll be exciting. And uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap up the video. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.